Alright guys, so today I thought since I'm going to be busy doing sheets, Kydex sheets, I would just show you guys my little, my sad little Kydex setup um, and show you how I do it because it's pretty different than a lot of other makers do it, I'm sure. So Alright guys, so if you might have seen on my story, I pre-fold uh, all the sheets. I pre-fold a lot of them at once just so that I have these small ones ready for the little EDC knives. And so at this point, I go ahead and mark the holes that I drill, just so that I know they're not going to be in the way of the knife, and I know where to drill, so I'm going to do that. Alright guys, so I've drilled the holes. This one already has the eyelets through and pressed down, um, and I do this before I put it in the oven, just uh, to make sure that the fold doesn't come apart when I reheat it, and the kydex expands and separates. And here's my arbor press, pretty dirty, with... Um, the die for setting the eyelets. Pretty cool. I'll have to show you guys super quick, super easy, no hammering. All right, so sheets are in the oven. We're about ready to press fit um, using my homemade press that I made, Kydex press. This is just uh, camping bedding, camping mat, I guess, with magazine paper over it, so I don't get this pattern onto the Kydex. All right. All right. Pull the sheath out of the oven. See how it's all flexible like that. That would have come apart if I hadn't put the eyelets down. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide the knife in and press it down. All right, so as a lot of my maker friends probably noticed, I do not tape the blades before I press them. This is because I can never get a good fit when I tape them. And I would rather have a scratchy blade and a good fit as opposed to a loose fit and a clean blade, so. So this one we lucked out on, the first try pressing it, fit nice and tight no movement when you wiggle it and it slides off pretty easy so yeah we're just gonna profile this and get a clip on it and we're good to go so so I'm able to get the basic shape done on my 2x42 I just take this so the basic shape is done it's time to clean up the edges since I did that with a 60 grit. Um, I know a lot of makers probably hand sand this, but I just go straight to the buffer using this black compound and it seems to polish it amazing. So I'm gonna show you that. Now if you can see that guys, that's 60 grit. And look, in a few seconds, I'm gonna take that to a crazy polish. Look at that. So yeah, that's my secret. All right guys, so now that our sheath is all shiny and looking nice, it's time to attach the pocket clip. I get these from Tandy, I think, um, and I get the hardware from DIY Holster Hardware. So yeah, let's get this on. But the feedback from customers about these sheaths has been really great. I haven't had any complaints. Um, I did have one customer suggest putting a rubber ring between the um, clip and the Kydex to just kind of lock it in place. Um, so I have some of those on the way to kind of all right, so I'm really in love with these sheaths. You can really put them anywhere, carry it, um, appendix carry in your pocket, or even flip the clip out, carry it on your neck. The trick for deploying the knife is if you just grab the handle, you'll pull the whole sheath out, which is kind of what I intended so that it's easy to remove it and move it around. But um, if you're trying to deploy just the knife, put your thumb there on the back of the sheath and you'll pull the whole knife out. All right, so one last thing, I'm kind of glad this happened. This Tanto ended up a little too tight when deploying it. So when that happens, I just hit it with the heat gun um, close to the opening, kind of get it a little loose, and then I just work it. All right, so that's basically my process for making the sheaths. Um, now this thing is in plenty tight, and uh, it's easy enough to deploy. All ready to go out.